Cody Waite here, Weight Endurance in Session 6 Sport Performance. We're going to be de demonstrating our box jump Tabata routine as part of our the power part, the second half of our base builder uh, strength training program. So just like uh, some of the previous exercises within this segment, the Tabata references 20 seconds worth of work, 10 seconds worth of rest, repeated for X number of times based on the programming. <clears throat> the power part is that very quick, explosive um, extension contraction of muscles and, and in this case rebounding off of the ground from the box uh, back onto the box. Okay, so box jumps, we've kind of prepped ourselves in the first half of the program with a lot of the floor jump movements. Um, and now the, the box jumps takes it to kind of to the next level with, with elevation where we're going to be jumping down and back up um, repeatedly. So the key here is picking the right box height because just like with our walking lunge Tabata, just like our wall ball Tabata, um, you want to be able to keep the momentum and the reps seamless, okay? Um, if you find that you have to either take breaks or you know, kind of pause and adjust, then chances are the box is too high, your height <coughs> from which you're jumping is too high. So start low, start with, you know, even something as low as like four, four to six inches, um, uh, and then work your way up higher and higher. Most people, very few people, if anyone's gonna go much more than about 20 inches, that's starting to get pretty high um, for these. Also, any kind of jumping plyometric movement, especially from a height, there is that extra risk um, of you know maybe tweaking something as you jump up or down um, just absorbing impacts on the ground and whatnot you know hopefully we've addressed that by adapting early on to the phase so if you're jumping into this program kind of halfway through I wouldn't recommend starting with this without some of the earlier progressions to let yourself let your body use soft tissue adjust to the jumping okay so a little caveat there bottom line with any and all of the strength training is start conservatively work your way up as you gain experience and strength, okay? So let's get down to it. So basically a box jump in this scenario, what we're gonna be doing is actually starting on top of the box. And again, be smart about the height of the box. I think that this box is about uh, 12 inches, I believe. We have boxes ranging as low as uh, six inches all the way up to 36 inches, I believe. Um, so this is definitely on the lower side, but there are lower ones, be smart about it. You're gonna start on the box. You're gonna jump off of the box onto the ground on the front half of your foot, and then before the, your heels even touch the ground, you're gonna spring back up onto the box. And then you're gonna get a full hip extension at the top. Okay, so you're basically going to jump off, jump on, extend, that's one rep. Okay, so to link these together for the uh, 20 seconds of the Tabata work, and then you can rest on top of the box or wherever you want for the 10 seconds to kind of catch your breath. Okay, so linking a few together, basically, like this. Oop, that was okay. So make sure your feet fully land on the box. When you return full hip extension. A lot of times we'll see people in class here that kind of do something like like this. Not quite the same. We want to get that full hip extension because when we're pedaling our bike and running, what do you know we get that full definitely running you get that full hip extension. Cycling, you know, you want to achieve as close to that full hip extension as you can. So why not train it in the gym? All right, so we'll do some more. Up, 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 like that. So you'll do that for 20 seconds. Then you'll take 10 seconds rest to catch your breath. Heart rate gets up, as you can tell. And then you'll keep repeating depending on what the programming calls for. As you progress, you can go to a slightly higher boxes and kind of build up that strength from there. So what we're really training here is that explosive power, predominantly in our feet and lower legs, but you are getting um, glutes involved, the quads involved, um, hamstrings involved with the eccentric motion and springing up off of the ground and uh, training that quick, elastic response of the muscles, soft tissue, um, that will help you create more power uh, for every pedal stroke, for every stride running. So that's the box jump Tabata. It's in the second half of our base builder program, part of the power phase near the end of each workout to really work on taking the strength and applying it to quick, repetitive motions.
All right. Good luck. Have fun.